just going to do a quick rundown on what it took to build this all-wheel drive car. Maybe you guys can replicate it and enjoy something similar to this to yourself. So I'm going to break it down into several parts throughout the video. Uh, so if you'll scroll along the timeline, you'll see where I've got it broken up into the different sections about the build on the car. Alright, so this is my 1992 Civic Hatchback. I bought this car as a shell in Nebraska. I'm in Alabama, so I drove a thousand miles one way to buy a shell. It had no wheels, no engine, no transmission, none of that stuff. So after I bought it, I put a, a B-Series in it and made 760 horsepower with a B-Series, like a B-18. Uh, I looked up and found a all-wheel drive transmission at my local pull-apart. So I snagged the transmission and then it was game on from there. Um, I bought another car that had this long block in it and then uh, kind of made everything work into this car. So uh, let's go over the motor first and then I'll do like the turbo kit, the transmission, and then we'll do the fuel system and I guess the all wheel drive drive line and then just talk about the car. So this engine is a K24 A4 bottom end it's a block. It's been resleeved by Golden Eagle. Uh, has Sains Performance 300M rods with 625 bolts. Arias pistons. Oh, also on the bottom end, it does have a RSX Type S oil pump. On the head, we have a K20A2 head with stock cams, and it has a 50 degree VTC gear. So stock head, stock cams. I did do a water pump, uh, electric water pump setup on it. So we have a track tough water plate. It's got the track tough water pump down here. It's kind of hidden down there. You can't really see it too well. And then it has like even a track tough little water piece here coming off the head. Crazy fact about the uh, water plate here. It actually utilizes a B-series alternator. Uh, also has an ATI damper down there. And we have a straight line motorsports breather setup, catch can. So it's got the A16 AN lines on it, whatever. All right, so I guess let's talk about the turbo kit. This is a Precision 6466 Gen 2 T4 back housing with a .96 AR. So we got a speed factory uh, sidewinder manifold with um, it's a T4 60 mil gate. It's got a Turbo Smart uh, Power Gate 60. And Greg at Go Auto Works did the exhaust work. He made these up pipes as well as intercooler piping. So there you can see his logo. And got a tile 50 millimeter blow off valve. And Greg did really good work on these intercooler pipes, all the pie cuts and stuff. It's kind of dirty right now. So, also have a Speed Factory dual back door intercooler. So it has a three inch hot side, three and a half inch cold side. It's going up to a Ross 90 millimeter throttle body. Hooked onto this Skunk 2 Ultra. So, on the turbo kit, I also have all push lock fittings. And there's my boost solenoid right here tucked on the side of the head, out of the way. All right, so on the fuel system, we have uh, four FID 2200cc injectors, hybrid racing fuel rail, and uh, we have dash eight PTFE supply. It's a dash six return. Got an air motor regulator. This right here is a AM fuel pressure sensor. We also have an air motive gauge here. We have a fuel lab fuel filter down here. It's kind of dirty right now. I need to clean this thing up. So I think that's going to wrap up the fuel system until we get it on the lift and I'll show you everything on the rest of the fuel system in a second. So for continuing on our fuel system. We have two Bosch 044 fuel pumps here. You can see they got 10 gauge wiring, heavy wiring, 
make sure we get all the amps, make sure we get full performance from our pumps. Here we have two Aeromotive pre-fuel filters. So to come from our fuel tank to the filters, to these, and then to the filter that's under the hood. All right, so this right here is a DP race parts, five gallon fuel cell for all wheel drive. You see there the DP, all right. So this utilizes a factory fuel net and it clears all the all-wheel drive stuff. The factory fuel tank doesn't um, allow you to put the rear diff in, so you have to take the rear or the uh, fuel tank out. This one mounts in factory locations, and it mounts up really nice. It has two. I, I, I chose to get mine with with two dash eights. You could, I think, OEM or the way they produce it comes with like a single dash ten, but. You can get these customized by them too. All right, so on the transmission, this is a Z2 M4 or something. Yeah, like out of a 03 Honda CRV transmission. It does have a Gear X one through four uh, helical synchro set, and it has a RSX fifth and sixth. So it has a competition triple disc clutch in it. Also has a DP race parts scatter shield. Has a wave track LSD. You see here it's got the K-tuned shifter cables. This is the race spec version. It also has a S2000 master cylinder for the clutch. It has a stock slave cylinder. And then on the front up here we have uh, drive shaft shop 5.9 front axles. So we don't have to worry about axle issues on the front. The rear may be a little different story, but definitely don't have to worry about it on the front. So, all right. So the interior of this thing is mostly complete. Obviously, you can see it don't have carpet, and it don't have a headliner. But it's not cut. It still has all the panels in the back and stuff. Got a spare axle back there from the track. Just a stock one. I've never broke a rear axle or a front axle, so I've never had to use it. But I just take it with me. It does have a mild steel cage in it. It's got some knockoff bride seats in here, nothing fancy. You've got a five point harness, uh, got a K tune shifter, You've got a Willwood staging brake. It's a pass through design, so the pedal still operates the rear brakes too. Um, so, I'm gonna turn my master power switch on. So, back here, we got a, a master cutoff. See there, the cluster powering up. So this is the AIM Strata. All right. So here we got fuel, water pump, and fan override. The fan still operates as factory, so it'll come on with the fan or with the ECU, wherever it tells it to come on. But like if you're just sitting and you want to cool the car off, you can turn the water pump on and the fan. And man, the temperature really drops really fast. Uh, it does have AM Infinity down here. <clears throat> Alright, so I guess we'll begin with the all-wheel drive stuff on the back. So I have the Hub City Performance diff mount. I also have the Hub City Performance lower control arms, as well as the trailing arms that are Hub City also. So... We are running a CRV differential. This is like a 97 to 01 version. We have insane shaft, 500 horsepower rear axles. So if you're using a Hub City Performance rear diff kit for a CRV diff, you use two 97 to 01 passenger side axles. So that's both of these are passenger side axles. And all you have to do is this little dust ring, pop that off before you put it into the diff over on this side. So a piece of cake to take that off. Here we have the DCA Performance uh, drive shaft adapters. And this differential is uh, pinned, pin clutch pack, and the spider gears are welded also. Um, but the DCA Performance adapters here, they adapt over to a Land Rover drive shaft this is a land rover freelander drive shaft 
viscous coupler, a little mount for it here, and then it also has the DCA performance adapter here to convert again the Land Rover drive shaft over to the CRV transmission. The thing I saw on a lot of the trailing arms, uh, they were saying they were having tow issues, so I got a set of ESM spherical tow links here. They, they allow for more adjustment so that your uh, toe can be set properly for the rear. And then we have blocks, drag coilovers, front and rear. Uh, they do really nice. They're a little stiff like for uh, highway driving, but they, uh, they hold up really well and it makes for a good launch. And the top bar here for the diff mount. Up here we can see that this is the front uh, coilover. Again, blocks drag coilover. It's got a skunk to upper control arm with the camber to adjust it. Also have <clears throat> energy bushings throughout, you know, wherever they needed them. Here we got some hard race ball joints. Also has uh, a traction bar with a custom weight plate that I had cut for it. That works out pretty nice. So that pretty much wraps up everything on the bottom side. So guys, I guess that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. That's a quick rundown on what I've got done to the car. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Um, I mean, I, I hate to see the car go. It's a lot of fun. But at the same time, it's helping me get out of debt to where I can start work for myself and not have to work for somebody else. So I guess in that fact, it's really beneficial. And I can always build another car, right? So. Um, you know, I, I doubt I'll build another car that's on this level because I've got a lot of money and time invested in it and I just don't know that I'm really willing to do that again. Um, you know, you could, you could build one a lot cheaper than what I've built here. Um, I, I think that I personally would have more fun in a car that had a stock motor, stock transmission so that I didn't care so much about hurting something because right now I mean it's this car made 873 horsepower on the dyno it's not it's currently at that right now it's probably about 700 750 and it's a lot of fun where it's at but you know how it goes when you get something that's a little fast you want to go faster right and so it's just a, a never-ending cycle and right now it's just in my best interest to move on from it so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna Take it over to the new owner on Friday. So a couple days from now. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Please do me a favor and like the video, and comment, and subscribe to the channel. Those two things are they're free and they really help me out. And if you want to see more detailed information about the build, you can check it out on my channel. It's a playlist called the Green Dragon. That's what my daughter calls the car. So that's been its name. And hopefully this video was able to help one of you guys build your car. See you on another video. Peace, guys.